When you order lots and lots of trains, you'll get fast trains, antique trains, steam trains. Uh, I can't do it. I can't do it. I see it all the speed and traffic out here. Oh, look at that. We got a train coming. All right. Well, that was easy. Let's see. Watch out. We got some trains coming. Watch out. Alright. That's better. Oh, yeah, he's smoking good. There she blows. I'll tell you what, I don't know if it's even worth taking a picture. Oh, uh, what? Double sex? Looks like. Yep, double sex. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Fuck it. Don't look at me. Yeah. I tell you, they're all full throttle there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I'm sitting down here watching these people go through stop signs down the road at 250 miles an hour. I'm thinking, you know what? The road's just full of assholes. I mean, you just gotta live with it. There's nothing you can do. But as I always say, you know, assholes is people too, and they demand respect. Yeah, bullshit they do. I'll tell you what, you got other assholes out there where there's always one nice person tries to let you in, but there's like six other assholes that see a gap and go for it. In this day and age of the railroad, the thing to do is be on the maintenance crew. I tell you, engineers and conductors are being phased out very quickly by electronics and new technology like the PTC shed down there. Positive train control that pretty much lets the train run by itself. And basically the maintenance is the place to be right now. That's where everybody's being paid, that's where all the jobs are. And you know, I see it online. I'm, I'm going to be joining the work crew. I'm going to be a maintenance electrician for the railroad. I mean, that's where the jobs are. See how thick this brush is? How it's completely impassable? Just think, when they were planning the railroad route, none of this was here. No roads, nothing. They had to cut through the thickest brush. I mean, you see how thick that crap is in there? They had to do that the entire way across Pennsylvania. I mean, there was no roads. I mean, they dug these cuts, they removed all the brush, did everything by hand. But to even get to that point, somebody had to come out here and map the land. I mean, do you know how long it would take for you to get through the thick brush? And there would have been a time where there is no drones, there's nothing, just basic measuring techniques. I mean, how the heck would you map this land and plan the route? I mean, this here, this cuts about 100 foot wide. You get up the horseshoe curve and you see how difficult that it was to build this shit like that. I mean, my model road at home has a four foot wide cut in the hillside. It took me a month to dig that. But you look at this cut, it's like 400 feet long and about 100 feet wide. And I'd say it's about 70 feet high on each side. I mean, do you see how much dirt they had to move to build this? And they had to map it. I mean, which means you had to send an explorer through all this area to find the route for the trains to go through. And then you look at all these creeks, all this brush. I mean, how in the hell would you do that? I mean, do you see what a feat that would be? And I tell you what, if this road wasn't here... I mean, you go you go from, like, Larmer, Irwin, Greensburg... What? Latrobe, Johnstown, Crescent, Altoona, Harrisburg... None of those... Would, would be here, those towns would be here if this was if it was not for this railroad. I mean, seriously. I mean, you see what I'm saying there. I mean, this would be like the backwoods of West Virginia out in the middle of nowhere. If this railroad was not built here. And you look at every single town, they all look identical. Same building, building style, everything. Because they're all built because of the railroad. Amtrak? Yeah, going too slow. 
be of a train coming out. Let's see. And let's see what truck is he on. And that is not a truck. That's a Norfolk Southern train. 21T, I think this train is. Let's see. Yep. Why do I start to look? Slowing as a medium approach. I tell you, what, you look at how much it changes the landscape. You so big as shit is. I tell you, what, you look at some of those logos on there. I ain't even from here. I still see the facts way down there. I tell you what, you look at some of them containers. What a graphic arts marketing fail. I mean, you can't read some of that stuff there. It's around the bend. I tell you, you look at that UPS FedEx. What three to five letters? Uh, big bright. Can read them plain to stay from a mile away, and there it is around the bend. The train. Well, let's see, you can blow a turbocharger too. Here it comes. Tell you what, this camera makes it look five times more daylight than it actually is. Let's see. Let's see, yeah. This is not good news, not good news for Amtrak. And her mind's short. He blew up. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Stop. Stop. There goes the fire whistle for the train that was on fire just now. I told you he was engulfed in flames in the back of the engine. I tell you what, you see a scene like that wave gives attention, go like this, point at that exhaust, and he'll know exactly what you mean. Alright, 017 at last. Here he comes. I'm stable here. Yeah, definitely on fault bike. It's coming slow. Here he comes. This bike hurts my butt. Here he comes. And there he is. Let's say. Let's say. Yep. Have a safe from the Pittsburgh. Good night.